Hi there, I'm Marisa and welcome to Marisa Home. I'm so happy you're here. Uh, today we are going to do a craft and we are going to make a witch's broom. So if you've been looking for the perfect witch's broom, um, yeah, I, I was, <laughs> I couldn't find one. So when you can't find it, what do you do? You can make it all on your own. So that's what we're going to do. My daughter wanted to be Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service for Halloween and I just could not find the broom. So we made them. So if you would like to make your own broom too, for your witch's costume, or for fall decor, or for Thanksgiving, Halloween, or just because, because you like brooms, <laughs> let's get started. All right, let's get into it. So I am going to make a broom. So my daughter wants to be Kiki from Kiki's Delivery Service at, for Halloween. And um, honestly, I bought a couple uh, toy, you know, brooms online and they just weren't cutting it. They were shedding, falling apart, breaking, just weren't making the cut. So um, I decided that I'm going to make her her own broom. So um, yeah, I'm just taking a an old broomstick. Actually, this is one that I grew up with. <laughs> My dad gave it to me. Um, and we're gonna do some straw and kind of put it all together. I've never done anything like this before, so it should be interesting on how it turns out. Um, so let's just like kind of see what happens. <laughs> all right, so first off, I am going to um, cut some felt because I think that's gonna be the easiest way to um, get the straw on, I'm going to uh, glue the straw onto the belt and then glue the belt onto the broomstick, thinking that's the easiest way to go. So let's see, um, just need a strip, nothing, you know, too big, maybe like two inches. And I'm going to cut on the longer side and then on the shorter side, because why not? Always cut it down if I need to. So I have a roughly, what, like a three foot, um, two inch piece of belt. It doesn't have to be pretty. Nobody's going to see this because we're going to cover it all up with straw. 18, 18 inches. I'm just going to cut this length of the board. All right. So I have my glue on standby. If you haven't already turned your glue gun on, turn it on now. All right, let's place some glue just all up and down. I'm feeling I'm going to be using a lot of glue here. We'll test um, wrapping this around the broom to see how full it really is. And then we will make adjustments as we need to, huh? So let's see, are there any spaces that are a little light? Make sure you have lots of glue. <laughs> I'm using so much glue, it's insane. Okay, I think I like what I see so far. So let's see if this is actually going to be full enough when we put it on the broom. So turn over your um, your straw, your strip of straw, and we are going to allow about. 
right? I'm going to test it first and then I'll go back through and we'll glue it. I just want to make sure that I have all the straw that I want on here. If I don't, then I still have an opportunity to fill in however much straw I want. feel like the like three feet of felt is a little makes it a little too thick on the top so I'm gonna cut some off like right here where it's not really you know full a lot of straw came off so I'm gonna go ahead and continue filling in right here and then we'll see if um, it's going to fit onto the broomsticks. Take two, let's try this again. <laughs> Turn this over. Let's see if we like the way this looks now. So I have about, actually, you know what? Let's uh, make the bottom like four, maybe even five inches. Cause I have a feeling that I may be cutting some of the bottom to kind of um, straighten it out. I don't know. So um, yeah, let's, let's kind of practice that. See what it's like. Okay, I'm gonna roll this up. Like so. Oh yeah, I like that a lot better. Okay. All right. Well, then let's unroll it. <laughs> make sure that it, we just wanted to make sure that we liked what we were seeing, right? So I'll we'll unroll it. And guess what? I'll start gluing again. <laughs> so make sure you have enough glue sticks, and then you know, start this lovely process of gluing the straw onto the broomstick. really didn't have a plan when I started this project. It was um, just make a room. But I feel like that's how a lot of craft projects go. You're like, oh yeah, yeah, simple, no problem. I got this. Sounds really easy in my head. And then you go to actually execute it. And it's like, wow, okay, I have um, this riddle and this riddle, and I didn't think about that. And uh, yeah, that's what I know about crafting is in finding solutions and getting really creative on how to make it happen. All right, so let's hold that for a minute, make sure that it, um, cools off and sticks all together. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna wrap the top with um, with twine. And we'll see, we'll see how this goes. Like I said, don't really have a plan. Let's just go with it, right? And um, I'm gonna do my best to cover up the felt if I can. So it's probably going to um, take a bit of patience in order to get this um, twine around. And that's okay, just turn on some music and start crafting. Let's wait for that to dry and then we'll start pulling so it's nice and tight. If 
I were to make another one of these again, I'd probably leave, um, I don't know, maybe like five or six inches, maybe a little like eight inches of string at the top so then I can tie it off. I'm still gonna be able to do the same effect, I think, because I think it'll be really pretty. Um, and if you've seen any of my craft videos, then you know, or any of my crafts, I always end up with some kind of bow. I don't know how that is, but I do. <laughs> so that's what we're gonna do at the top here. I'm gonna tie this off in a bow. And it just so happens to work out that I, um, at the beginning, it wasn't as um, cinched and tight. So I have some loose uh, twine here that I can um, loop the thread, the, uh, the twine through. I always like to lead off with a lot more string than I need. So this is probably like, um, 15 to 18 inches. All right, so let's take that thread, thread it through here. This is just, I just happenstance. I have the, um, I have that, that slack right there. If you ended up with the same, you can do the same way that I'm doing it. Otherwise, I highly suggest, you know, leaving about eight inches or so um, at the very beginning. And we're gonna tie this into a knot. Just tie a knot. Okay, so that's maybe like an inch. I'm gonna do another inch row on this side. Actually, this one can be longer, so I can move it around because I can. I can change the um, the size of it, right? Oh, I think that looks adorable. Slack I have, and then I cut it. So I have string on each side, and then I'll just put like a whole bunch of glue right there, get it to stay, right? Why not? Why not? Throw this down. Hold it until it dries. Oh, that's sweet. I'll cut this other side. Not my hand. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Now, I'll just clean this up a little bit. And then I think we're all done. So I'm just going to take my scissors and just start cleaning up. Oh, I hope she's so excited about this. Cause this is, like I said, I didn't start, I had a vision, but I didn't just have a plan. And um, that's just kind of how I do my crafts. And I love to see the creative process unfold and how it all happens. Um, that's fun for me. Even when it turns out to be a disaster, that's okay. You still learn something, right? And then let's turn this around. I'm gonna kind of just straighten this out a bit, just so I can see the stragglers for sure. Let's get rid of those stragglers at the very top. Don't need those, so those don't make any sense. Remember, our broomstick, our broomstick is right here, but the end of our straw is about oh, five, six inches away. I want her to be able to like stand with it and not worry about like um, smushing these too much. So that's why I was thinking only like three inches or so. So let's see if I can kind of like give this a haircut. <laughs> Yeah, I did. 
So let's cut the stragglers again this time. Just like brush this out, right? Let's see what else we get. Maybe we can get a lot of this extra stuff for um, loose ends before she does. Because I know she will be writing this like. <laughs> Well, there you go. Your broom stick is all done. Uh, that was a really fun craft. I didn't know how it's going to turn out. I love how it, um, we approach this, like just going with the flow. And I think it turned out great. I know that my daughter's going to love it. She's going to start writing it around the house before um, Halloween. And you know what's so nice is that it, I, I'm sure it'll keep because, um, well, I don't know. Let's see what a three year old does with this broom stick. If anything, I'll put it away for. Um, Halloween and Thanksgiving and you know we can use it again and again in the future as long as like you know um toddlers don't figure out how to destroy everything <laughs> but they do so we'll see what happens but this was a lot of fun so I hope you have a witch in your family that needs a broomstick and that you have a lot of money for them too. Thank you so much for being here don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this one let's make something beautiful. Thank you.